to me. So what we're now trying to do is, and I need a little help here with my papers, uh, we will now have seven convention bureaus, if I am right, who will come up here and do a short presentation on the destination itself, introduce themselves, because they're also one here, one of the main supporters of that uh, conference. So we thought it's just fantastic for all of you to get an idea what's going on in the various destinations. And all of them will have about three minutes to speak and show a little bit of uh, what's going on. And in order to do so, I think we should start with our host city, with the Prague Convention Bureau and Lenka Slepkova coming over here and continuing the first presentation. Thank you, Helen. Good morning, everybody. I hope you are enjoying yourself in Prague. I just arrived like a minute ago, so I will start with a video. As if you didn't have a time to go tomorrow yesterday in Prague City, so let's see the video to start. Prague is wonderful. It's stylish. It's like high fashion, ever changing. Its magic changes with every season. We come to Prague very often. We feel at home here. It's steeped in European history, and Prague is so romantic. Prague is great. Come and see it. So this is Prague. We have all like only three minutes, so we will go very, really shortly, just to give you a uh, short brief of what uh, different destinations are offering. So. My presentation. So Prague, it's an inspiring city. It has been a city as well called a city of hundred spires because it has a lot of spires as you could uh, see. But it's as well an inspiring city that inspired many people in the past like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart who composed famous opera Don Giovanni in Prague but as well uh, Franz Kafka and uh, many other. Uh, Prague, as uh, you heard yesterday, is a World Heritage UNESCO site. It's a historical city full of culture, history, uh, art, and music. It is a very accessible city. You could uh, get here, I hope, very easily. We have uh, more than 130 connections uh, to the destinations with uh, 53 different airlines. We have very modern and uh, actually passenger-friendly airport. We have uh, easy access to the city, within the city by efficient public transport, so key uh, element access, we are accessible. Uh, we are colorful, if you compare Prague with Paris or London, you could see that Prague is very colorful with different colors of routes and, and facades and have been really beautifully restored in the last 10, 15 years. Prague is as well mystical, full of legends, uh, histories, uh, stories to be discovered as well in incentives programs. Prague is very comfortable. Uh, we have a lot of uh, hotels, a large variety of hotels uh, from uh, top hotels like Four Seasons, uh, Marriott, uh, uh, Mandarin Oriental, Rocoforte Collection, Kempinski, chains uh, like Intercontinental Hilton, Sheraton, they are all in Prague. So you have really large variety of hotel. Prague is as well safe destination. It's a clean destination. There is a, a large infrastructure for conventions. Just next to the uh, Corinthia, you have a large, uh, the largest convention center in Prague uh, that can fit up to 10,000 people. Prague is as well full of life. Uh, you can do different incentive programs from uh, heritage, uh, actually uh, old car, vintage rallies, uh, treasure hunts, beer tours, very popular. Uh, up to uh, adventures in Prague collectors and uh, as well ice hockey tournaments, etc. Prague is definitely an other Central, Central Eastern European destination as well, very affordable, you good value for money, especially in Prague hotels because of the choice and variety. Prague is friendly and Prague is not only the tourist destination but as well a meeting destination, so we hope you to, uh, that you compose your uh, next event in Prague with us, with Prague Convention Bureau. We are a team of five, and I'm hitting it. My colleague Yitka is here as well, so we, are, uh, we will be happy to answer all your questions during the day. Thank you very much. <laughs>